welcome to the Roofing Roundtable podcast, hosted by David Griggs, the owner of Granada Roofing. In this podcast, we dive deep into the world of roofing with a particular focus on premium roofing and exterior product applications. Now it's time for the latest episode of the Roofing Roundtable, a Frito Nation production coming to you from the Caddo Office's Reimagined Studio. Welcome back to another episode of the Roofing Roundtable. I'm David Griggs, your host, and today I want to talk to everybody about behind the scenes. We're coming back from a really busy roofing season. Uh, we've been blessed and super busy with all of our clients. Putting a lot of roofs on the schedule and a lot of roofs on the schedule means a lot of computer work. It means a lot of uh, following up with clients, putting people on the schedule. And I wanted to just give our clients a behind the scenes of what it takes and what goes into actually from not just that initial meeting and we get a contract together, but everything that happens after that. And that's where if you're not super organized, more than just being really great at roofing, you've got to be really great at scheduling. And I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of you know what we do and why. So we have CRMs that we track messages with all of our tradesmen, getting people scheduled. Whenever we're talking about the actual roof, we even have a app for the roofer where they can check in so we can see what time they checked in. They can upload photos throughout the day, which I think is really good because if I can't be at the job site all day long, we can check in and we can see what they're doing, what they've done. We actually even have a checklist for them as well that they can go through the checklist on the app and say, okay, we've got a photo of all of the ground is tarped. We've got the tree, you know, with a TP on so it doesn't get broken, the one that you said that we needed to do. So I think that that's probably the biggest thing so far is just getting everyone scheduled. So typically, a lot of clients will say, you know, David, why are you three weeks out, four weeks out? Why can't we just get a roof done next week? And a lot of times is whenever we are, uh, especially after a major storm, everybody wants to get on the schedule. Once they get on the schedule, we are typically, I don't know, maybe a week or two out just because my roofers stay busy and then we need to get on their schedule. And then we already probably have 15, 20 roofs going on that month. And if the average house takes one depending on how big it is, maybe two pushing into two days. Maybe if you've got a really big house, we're pushing into three. That really eats up a lot of the schedule. And there's only typically, what, 20, 21 working days in a month. So, you know, if you've got 15 houses, let's just say each one takes one day, we're full. And so even right now at the time of this podcast, we're in September, we're already scheduling into October and in in the middle of October. So yeah, that's a lot of the reason why, you know, it does take so long. Now, if you're one of our realtor referral partners, we can definitely get you done within a couple days. We don't typically like doing that. You know, that's where we like to schedule out. But if you have a, I have an emergency, we need to get this done. We have enough crews that we've worked with that we feel comfortable saying, okay, yes, we can go down the street, get you on the schedule and get you taken care of. Let's talk about once after we've gotten the roof done. Right, so roof's done and we're not done. We still have windows that got to go out and get measured for window screens. We've got gutters that need to get installed. We've got staining on the fence stains that need to get done. That typically, after a build, can take anywhere from two to three weeks, depending on scenario, waiting for windows, waiting for window screens, getting on everyone's schedule. When I talk about scheduling, I'm really good at my job and I can control what I do, but Whenever you are trying to control the window guy's schedule or my staining guy's schedule, they are not as good as we are about staying organized. So there is so much communication that has to go on with everybody. Everything has to be timestamped in our CRM so that we can say, okay, the window guy told me he's going to go out in two days. We probably need to follow up just to make sure that he's going to be there. And that goes for everybody, window screens, gutters, it it's it's a lot of behind the scenes that is not seen by the client. 
hopefully what you're seeing is that everything's seamless and we've given you a date and our guys are going to be out there and everything's beautiful and looks really good for you. I would say once we're done with all trades, and let's just say from the time that a roof's done and it's maybe two weeks later, three weeks later, we're done with all trades. Now we have to start the supplement process. And supplementing with the insurance lately, I would say it's not that they're not trying to do what's right and they're not trying to be quick to communicate, but they have so many claims that I've been waiting right now seven to 10 days just to get a response from an insurance company on an initial supplement. And then once you respond, it's taken them another seven to 10 days to respond back to you. So unless we're hounding them twice a week, we're not getting responses from them. And I would say the supplementing process is the part that can take anywhere from 30 to 45 days after a build. So we really appreciate everyone's patience from just getting you on the schedule getting all the trades out, getting the supplements done, and ultimately just waiting for that final check to come from the insurance company. Guys, that's just a little bit of like behind the scenes of what we do. We would love to work with anybody. If you want to give us a call at 214-458-0835, David Griggs with Granada Roofing, let's build something beautiful together.